Good afternoon, y'all. It's a Sunday afternoon. It's kind of drizzly, raining. Uh, I think there's actually some tornado watches going on, but um, it's not bad here right now. So it's perfect for cooking since I have to be inside anyhow. So I am going to try making a sour cream pound cake. Now, I have some old recipe books, some that I already had myself, and then some that a friend gave me. And I found this recipe uh, from 1979 cookbook, and then I'm also tweaking it just a little bit to go with some other recipes that uh, I found for sour cream pound cake. So it's gonna be delicious, I'm sure. Uh, can't, you can hardly screw up a pound cake. I mean, they're just butter, sugar, eggs, flour, yeah, vanilla. So this one calls for six eggs. And since my chickens have been producing so well lately, I thought this is a great way to use up some eggs today. So the first thing, I mean, that I will tell you this though, this recipe is a little bit more involved than what I usually do because I usually like the really straightforward, simple recipes. Uh, you know, just mix this with this, with this, with this, and cook it and you're done. Well, this one you have to like separate your eggs out and beat them differently, things like that. So uh, the first thing we're having to do today is we're having to double sift the flour before we um, you know, have the final measurements of it. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that. So let me turn you around and down where you can see what I'm doing. I've, it calls for three cups of sifted all-purpose flour. So I've put three cups of flour over in here, but this has not been sifted yet. So I've got my little sifter ready and I've got my big measurement um, measuring cup here. So it also called for a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm going to sift that in with the flour. So let me get started first with um, just dipping this flour up and putting it over here in the sifter so that we can measure it. So I'm gonna put about that much flour and then put the baking soda in there so that it's mixed in sort of in the middle of the flour. We don't want it uh, you know, to all be in a, at the bottom or at the top. All right, and now then, a little bit more. All right, so now I'm gonna start sifting this into this measure. Let's see if I can move this stuff around so you can see better. Okay. So, this will make it not quite as heavy a pound cake, I guess. And it gets any of the little I don't know if you can see down in there, but you can see those little crumbles of flour that are in there. That's what we're not wanting in the cake, okay? So that's not quite three. It's about, that was about two and a half maybe, or maybe just about two actually. So let me add some more here. So we want it to be exactly three cups like it calls for. And it said definitely to measure it after you sifted it. So. That is, move the flour out of the way so I can see the markings. Okay, I think it's just about there. Maybe just a little bit more. All right, I think we're at the three cup measure side, right? Move this down so you can see the the three mark. It's right there, and we're right there at it. So that's our three cups of flour that's going in the cake. And now I will separate the eggs, and I'll get back with you in just a minute. Okay, I'm back, and we're going to be separating six eggs. Well, and I'm just going to show you how I'll do it, and then I'll get them all done uh, off camera. But um, I don't know if y'all ever have had one of these. It's like a little tool to help you with separating the eggs. Uh, I grew up, we separate them just back and forth between the shells, but this makes it pretty easy too. Uh, this one happens to be Tupperware, 
but I think um, I think Pampered Chef probably sells them as well. But anyhow, I just set this on top of a little dish. Move these things out of the way a little bit. Just set that on top of a dish, and then I'm going to crack the egg. And it goes right into the center there. As you can see, the egg white went down in there and the egg yolk is in, in this little container. So now I'm just gonna put my egg yolk over here, put these whites over here in the big bowl because we'll be mixed, uh, beating those later. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that with the other five eggs and get them all separated and ready for the um, for the cake, but let, let me just remind you again, this is the thing I harp on all the time. Make sure you're separating them over here in this bowl and not trying to do it over your egg whites because you'll wind up with a yolk that'll break and it'll be down in the rest and ruin the rest of your egg whites or vice versa if you were doing it, you know, a different way. Anyhow, just always crack your eggs in a separate bowl and then put them where you need them to be. Um, because you, you just never know with eggs, okay? Anyhow, let me get these done and I'll get right back. Okay, now that we have our flour uh, ready and our sugar ready, and I, um, I have softened two sticks of butter, so that's um, a cup of butter, and I've got it here at room temperature, so now we're just gonna cream the butter along with three cups of sugar. So I've already measured my sugar out in this bowl. So I'll be putting it in um, as this gets light and fluffy. So I'm gonna whip this up. Might take a minute and I know it's noisy, so I'm not gonna make you endure that. So let me whip this butter up and then um, I'll get right back with you. Okay, I'm back. I've got this butter whipped up enough that it actually looks kind of white down in there. Um, so now I'm gonna start adding the sugar in. And I'll, maybe this won't be as loud, but I just wanted to show you how pretty it's gonna be. Let me get all added in. So I'm just gonna Hopefully that's not too loud. I'll still try to talk where you can hear me good. I'm just going to keep adding the sugar in and let it get real creamy. Right now it's kind of grainy, but as that sugar dissolves in the butter, it'll get um, more creamy. And then we're going to be adding in those egg yolks. you that it works really good separating those eggs if the eggs are at room temperature. So when we first uh, gather the eggs from the chickens, we just bring them in and have them in a, a dish over here on the counter. And so mine were at room temperature. That's one reason they separate so well. But look how pretty those egg yolks are. We feed our, egg, our chickens um, organic whole grains and they are just producing like crazy and, and they're beautiful good healthy eggs. So, all right, I'm just going to keep get, get going with this and then I'll start adding the eggs in. Hold okay, I'm back. We're adding the eggs one at a time, the egg yolks. This is the fun part to me, trying to make sure one goes in at a time. It's a real challenge. All right. So now it looks kind of yellow down in there. The next thing we're going to add is a teaspoon of vanilla. So. I'm 
could add two teaspoons of vanilla, but I add one teaspoon of vanilla, and then I add a teaspoon of almond extract. Just because I, I love that almond flavor in my pound cakes. One recipe I saw said that you could add um, like the juice of a lemon in here as well, or lemon extract or orange extract, just whatever flavor you want in your cake. Now this is one cup of sour cream, it's just a regular sour cream, and I let it set out for a little while so it wouldn't be as um, cold and thick going in here, so it's, it's a little bit easier to manage. get all that good sour cream in there. Alrighty. And this is when I'm going to um, lift up my beater and scrape my bowl just to make sure that everything's getting mixed in really well. The whole purpose is you do want it all to be the good flavors all throughout the whole cake. So, all right. Now we're going to start adding in the, the flour. I could sift it again at this point, but I think we sifted it pretty good. That sifter I have is pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding it in a little bit at a time. say a little bit of time, I mean a little bit, because otherwise you'll have a big puff of uh, flour that comes up in your face. And even a little bit, sometimes it tries to do that. But anyhow, I will keep adding this in, and then I'll get back with y'all. Okay, I'm back, and the batter is finished here with the, um, with the flour in there now with all the eggs and the sugar and the butter. So now it's time to focus our attention on those egg whites that we separated earlier. So what we're gonna do is we're going to whip them up, and I've got a, a little hand mixer here. We're gonna whip them up until stiff, stiff um, peaks form. So it takes a few minutes to do this. So I'm gonna get started. This, this mixer is extremely loud, so I don't want you to have to endure that, but basically I'm just gonna turn it on and just let it whip, whip, whip until they get really thick. And then I'll show, them, show you back. Um, for those of you who've never done uh, egg whites before, you can see this, this is not stiff peaks. This is just still real soupy. And I've only beat it like maybe a half a minute. So I just wanted to show you that and I'll show you as it gets closer to the, you know, to the really stiff peaks. Okay, this is almost there. I just wanted to show you. See, those are, they kind of they kind of stand up at little peaks, but I'm gonna get them a little bit stiffer because I want it really, uh, I don't want these big giant air bubbles in here. I want all these little tiny ones so it'll stand up stiff. So hold on. Okay, now look, you see how that really stands up nice and stiff? That's what we want. And it's still some, is actually stuck in here. It's, it's so stiff. So I just wanted you to see that. And now we're going to fold this into the other batter. And when I say fold, we're just gonna gently fold it over. We're not using a beater for this. So let me uh, get that going and I'll show you in just one. All right, I'm back. We, um, I've just sprayed the inside of this really deep bunt, bunt cake pan. You could use a, a nice big tube pan if you have one of those um, or, or just make sure it's a big bunt pan because you don't want the cake to overrun and get all in your oven. Plus I usually still, even with the big one, I'll still sit it on a little cookie sheet before I put it, put it in the oven because if it runs over, that way it just runs over on the cookie sheet and not all down in the bottom of my oven. So now let's get going with the, here's the egg whites all mixed up 
And here's the cake batter. Let me turn you down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm going to just gently fold these into, whew, they come sliding out pretty fast. Okay, so now I'm just going to very gently just try to fold this in to this batter. When Bob and I got married, we had a sour cream pound cake as our wedding cake. And it, it had icing on it, but boy, it was delicious. We, uh, we of course, saved the top and ate it a year later on our one year anniversary trip. By then, the, the icing had gotten pretty freezer burned because we didn't cover it well enough, but the, uh, the cake itself was still very delicious. And since our anniversary was this past week, 15 years, I was looking back at some photos and saw the photos of that cake, and it's just been making me want this cake ever since. So I decided to make one today. All right, that looks like it's mixed in fairly well. I think you can see that. All right, and now what I'm going to do is just pour it on over into this pan and get it in the oven. And then when it's, it's supposed to bake at 300 degrees for about an hour and a half. So I'll test it at an hour and a half, make sure it's done in the center, and then I'll take it out. But I will show y'all uh, as soon as it gets ready. Okay, y'all, I just took this out of the oven. It's been exactly one hour and a half. And you can see it's well done. It's um, pulling away from the sides. I probably could have taken it out of the oven a little bit sooner, but I was in the other room sewing and heard the beeper and came in here and took it out. So I'm gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes and then we'll take it out of the pan. Okay, y'all, I just dumped it over in onto the um, cake plate. And as you can see, there's some areas where it, parts of it stuck in the pan, uh, obviously did not spray it well enough with the um, non-stick spray. So, lesson learned, but I can tell you for right now, just from taking little pieces of this out and eating them, yum, yum, yum. It's very good. And uh, just in time, the rain's about to start and uh, we're gonna have some coffee and cake. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great afternoon.